Should bring the bullseye in. Yeah. 105. That leaves him a two darter. A number of times when I've seen him find that treble. And it's putting Van Gogh in under pressure. 133. That's not enough to leave a finish. Oh, great dart. Oh, Game wonderful shot. stuff. And hero at the start of this year, so he's only had a handful of events in which to play. This is good. Really good from Van Gogh in perfect scoring visit to leave himself on 100. And it's another possible four visit leg. 140. Double 10. Game shot. 12 data. <laughs> Evidently thought he'd go over the top of that one. Oh, that could be changing the game. Changing the leg. 180 from MVG. Leaves 73. It's only going to be 20 in tops for Bartons. 30. And a miss there. This is the chance. Double eight. Oh, 65. either side of the double for Michael Van Gogh, and he'd done so well to fashion the chance. Oh, it's awful. It is a shocker of a no dart. Score. He's dragged that into the 15 segment. He's left with a dart in his game hand, shot. and nothing he can do about it, and Michael Van Gogh in leads in this game. Andy did pick up a World Series title in his home country in Den Bosch, pretty much his local tournament. 145. Nearly hits the 170 that would have left double 16, but he is going to get matched arts. Bartons. Needed the lot to leave a finish. Michael Van Gogh to wrap it up 6 3 just when they met earlier on in this year. It was the same scoreline. Game show and Michael and Van Gerwen wins the last four legs of that game to turn it around. And One hundred and forty. Good visit from the diamond. Fifty nine. Important little passage of play, this. White with a chance to get a break of throw. Ten for tops. Evidently double top is his go-to double. Oh, Game lovely shot. stuff. Very nicely done. 15 data, ton plus checkout. First break of throw, Ian White leads. In White, one treble with either of his first two darts. Gets him a go at the ball for 4-1. Not that treble, though. 88. Well, that'll do. It's poor, and that's poorer. He has missed two big numbers there. Steve Lennon is not having a good time. 30. Game shot. Well, he's kind of being gifted this, Ian White. Six starts from here for Ian White to wrap up a 6 1 win. 92. And he ends up leaving double 16. I think he probably, in an ideal world, would have wanted tops. But three match starts for a 6 1 win. Sixteen. Ian White can't take any of them. Nineteen. Well, there is first darts at double since leg two. He's missed them both, and surely that's the end of things. Steve Lennon, not a good day at the office. But Ian White isn't clocking out just yet. The Diamond wins it by six legs to one. A couple of visits from here for Schindler to double his lead. He's going to go for the 16s. I think that's sensible play. A lot of play. Well, it's a little bit close to the treble 20, but he's got away with it. A lot of players would have persevered on that treble 20 bed, even though they blocked a large section of it. 
Went looking for the 48, which would have left double 14. Seems sensible board management. 59. Reduces the risk of a bounce out. You've got a better chance of a treble and therefore a dart at a double. That's not very good. Neither is that. Game but shot. one of the three was good. And that's all it needed. Beautiful stuff. That is better than a 180, technically. 137. It's a very good setup shot from Daniel Closer as well. Schindler can't follow up the brilliant setup with a similarly brilliant checkout. 133. 133 leaves him on double six if Closer makes an error. He's not made many at the back end of legs. Can he find his way there? Yes, Game he shot. can. Very, very solid stuff from Daniel Closer. Three legs on the spin. Giving him a great deal to work with. He is relying on Daniel Closer not taking this out. He could go double-double. He has gone double-double. And he does not take it out. A rarity for Daniel Closer not to pin the double. First time of asking in this game. Double 10, moving back to the centre of the hockey. And Martin 50. Schindler has offered up more opportunities, and Daniel Closer has not needed many in this game. 50. Game shot. And once again, he gets the job done. Daniel Closer has won five of the last six legs. First to a finish, but Closer should get to a better one from here. And give himself a chance to win. Great adjustment. Superb stuff from Daniel Closer. He's been really, really solid in this game. And the 137 is too big an ask for Martin Schindler, and it might be an early exit 59. for Germany's number two. Daniel Closer. Rarely has he missed at the back end of legs, but he's missed a big number. Is one match dart enough? It is, Game and shot. it's plumb and in the centre. Daniel Closer gets one over on Martin Schindler. 44. Their interpretation was he threw in the dark, which might be a way of solving it. 96. So I genuinely don't know which the, what the solution was, but he's evidently overcome it and playing well enough to get himself on the tour. And he's been all right, and this is all right. It's more Whoa, than all right. 180. First 180 of the match, and it goes to Patrick. Trouble 19 for double 16 for a 149. Game Jermaine Watermainer. Beautiful check out from the machine gun. Into that. This is 18 in tops. 35. Now, is he relying on multiple visits at double in this match? I just wonder if Patrick can make him pay for that and just squeeze the lemon a bit. It's been a very unusual day so far in Leicester with so many big names falling One in the hundred. first round. The likes of Joyce, Clayton, Schindler, Anderson, Wade and Price and Wright all gone. 20. And there you go. He needs three visits to get this double done and Patrick can make him pay Game shot. Make him pay, he does. Just when Jermaine Watamena was getting a grip on this game. A third max for Jermaine Watamena in this game. Well, if he could snaffle a treble 20 here. Oh, what a dart. See, there's a word that isn't used enough. Snaffle. Double top. Jermaine Watamena keeps on missing doubles, and the question is how many chances does he get? Because that brilliant last dart in the treble 20 for Patrick gives him a two darter. Oh, it can still be done, treble 19. For double 19. Oh, it is filthy, but it will do. Patrick Gerrard spins double 19 for 100 checkout. It's on the cards, very much so now, and 
He's looking for his first win in a Players' Championship since he beat Darren Beveridge on the 13th of February. That's nearly two months ago. 38. Oh, that's good. Garrett should get a matched art. When you're finishing at 70%, there's a real chance this goes and that Jermaine Watamena will be heading for the door. Okay, 25, uh, 65 left. So that leaves the bullseye. One dart to win it. And he has Game won it. It is an astonishing display of finishing, and Jermaine Watamena is disgusted. He has let that one get away from him. He Old World Cup teammate Brendan Dolan that was levelled as the most underrated player on the PDC circuit. Now, it may seem strange to say this, but I think Danny has taken that title because he doesn't get these Hollywood plaudits. He just turns up as machine-like and one of the most consistent players of the last five years. 55. Yeah, I agree. I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. He is not as explosive as his countrymen, Dirk van Dijvenboda and Michael van Gerwen, but he does win an awful lot of games of darts. Mickey Mansell leaves tops, as he always will. If he's got the choice. Game shot. Because he's very good at hitting it. One apiece. Many, many finals on the floor and the European Tour. It has. 99. Now, Noppy is still a visit ahead here. So he will get a chance to break throw and go into the lead. 1-0 up, 2-1 down and 3-2 down. But a chance now to lead 4-3. There was a little bit of volume at the end of the previous leg when Nobby did equalise. Game shot. Nothing there, but he has taken the lead. Brett Clayden has followed up his win over Johnny Clayton with a victory over Robert Owen, seeing off the Welsh as the Northern Irishman Mickey Mansell wants another treble 20, which he's got double 10. Oh, Mickey Mansell. It was a leg where Danny Noppet kicked off with a 180 on the darts. Mansell misses his chance to break. Will he get another? Double 10, ironically. 25. He gets another chance. The pain on his face when he missed that previous 10 shot. But it's this 10 shot. That can give him a level game. It's got to do it the hard way. And he gets game it. Shot. Does he? Go and get it, Mickey. He's been sea game stuff from Cool Hand, if that. Mansell has put himself in a match-winning position here. What he would give to score 98. That's not going to happen. But it's a brilliant recovery. That makes everything easier for the next visit, if it comes. Which it will. And Mickey Mansell does not really have much of a problem with 20 for tops. His darts do stand up a bit, but he just loops them over in this big arc. He could use this as a marker if it's a little bit below the double top. That's okay. Straight Game through shot. the flights, and Mickey Mansell clenches his fist in celebration. Now, what does Dolby do on 108? Now, he's very much a 32 guy. That's why he goes the 19s route. He's not going to try and baffle us with single 18, treble 20, and double 15. 56. Oh, chance has gone. Mike Dedeker in danger of falling behind for the first time in this game. Well, there have been a lot of missed doubles in this match so far. I've just posted him as a 32 guy. He doesn't let me down. Not the ideal mark of that. But he does still find the mark, and he doesn't let himself down. A bit of time left in this match, if Dedeck has got anything to do with it. As he looks for 14 in bull. If he wants it, he doesn't. 52. Some players just like to have a crack to send a statement, but that was the professional thing to do. But I implore you, no matter what happens in this game, don't leave this stream because the next game on this board game 
However this one pans out is Littler versus Humphreys. 133. You've got to give his opponent credit for the fact that he's still in the match. However, is this the type of Mike Dedeka that just turns the screw a little bit tighter at this stage of his career? Because in previous years, he would probably lose games like this. 78. Not enough to leave a finish. Dedeka has got time. He's needed time in this game, but double eight will make it 5-4. The Belgian Game leads shot. for the first time since being pegged back at two all. Hello. Well, that one came out very quick. 105. I think he was looking at that second treble as a possible bonus. Even if he found it, he was never going to go for that 170. 95. Now, is it going to be treble 11 again? Gets it this time. Thought it was in. That one is, and we're going the distance. We said there was going to be a minimum of 10 legs in this contest. We're going to get 11. He leaves himself on 44 after nine darts. His scoring has been sensational. Even Chris Doby is going to struggle to live with eight 56. 180s in 11 legs of darts. Dedeka to win the match. 12. Doby has had so many goes at this. Perish the thought. Perish the thought, Mike. Oh, my word. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, Game what a shot from Dorby. That is going to sting for days. What a finish to that match. It was extraordinary for 11 legs. And with all of those 180s, Hollywood finds perfection in the last three darts to steal it from his pocket. A little less than that in beating Robbie Knops in the next round. But it is fair to say that both of these players have not showed their ultimate best so far today, but this is not a bad time of day to find it. In fact, they might have to at certain points. Tops. Game show. That's a little slice of brilliant, isn't it? We could say that about a lot of people. We said that Humphreys would have a rivalry with Dimitri Vandenberg. I am pretty 60. sure that's going to continue. But these two look like they're destined to make the Premier League playoffs and could even share major finals in the future this season. Double top. Game shot. Here we go. He just didn't want to go for double 18 because of his own flight being in the way. Double six. That wire weighs a little less now. It was clipped audibly. You could hear it. Double top for Littler. 36. That could be valuable, that miss as well. Humphreys has found himself on double six again. And double three again. Game shot. And he wins again. Very gettable at this level. But not every time. 134. That treble 19 as well as the treble 20 has had an absolute battering. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there thinking whoever wins this match is surely going to go on and win the tournament, but it's never that simple. Game shot. That is a huge move. He's not beaten this young man since the 3rd of January in four attempts. But we're talking about a player who's won three of these compared to Littler's one. He hasn't won it. And there's no guarantee that he will get more match shots. Double 16. Game shot. He's not avoiding it now, and they're going the distance again for the third consecutive time against each other. Seems like he's got antifreeze in his veins. 65. It's got to be a maximum. And because it isn't, Littler's got six from here. Five. 
he did have the option of treble 16 again but decided to go to treble 12 this time this game is not over 130 they are separated by very close to nothing one dart for the match game shot and he nails it you can see how disappointed Humphreys is he's just sick of the sight of the nuke but he just seems to be able to find what he needs in last leg deciders he might still have some big hitters left in here today but only one of them is going to prevail that looks good 40 I thought it was in it was in a one get my eyes checked don't need to check this guy's eyes Nine. he could probably still hit tops without his eyes however yeah, rock sure. does and that's a 3-1 lead it could easily be the other way around the last 16 of a players championship he can't be playing badly 20 Ryan is really ruining misses at tops now he's having a tiff with his favorite double at least he's coming back for tens to put things right. And it is for a break of throw, which he needs. No score. He comes up dry. And Josh Rock has left one, three, four. Another one. Oh, Game how has he squeezed that in? <laughs> Sorry. That's a sickening last dot. Got to get to 96 here. And he does. Or better would have done. But now he has to hit it. Or does he? Let's find out. Double 18. This time he does find double nine. This game isn't over yet. The answer is the players don't. They're just in this static state. They breathe after and before. The big out is not going to go. So Searle is running the risk of losing this match by two. He needs help. Double top. And he gets some help. Now he has to help himself. Double seven. 74. Can't help himself on that occasion. And Josh Rock now has three clean darts at tens to win and to be into the quarterfinals. Game shot and the match. Great spirit that game. But ultimately, Ryan Sill will be licking his wounds from the first few legs where he missed so many darts at double. He's won for the last three seasons. He's a bit like Ryan Searle in that regard. 100. He's won for the last five. Well, Smith's going to get the chance here to bag himself a break of throw and pretty quickly, effectively 42. take control of the contest. Tops the target. Same guide as before. However, yeah, that one didn't wobble. And he was able to use it. 100. He wants to be the last person in the building. That's such a lovely feeling. When you win, you can go to the exit door, you can look behind you, and there's nobody left. It's maybe the best feeling you can have in players' championships. I remember when Christoph Ratajski, at the end of a season, won players' championship 30 against Joe Cullen. 90. He walked out of the building. He looked back. There was nobody there apart from us. And he was the last person standing in the season. Not just for the day. 134. Well, that's a nice setup from Smith. Mikkel does have a chance, but it's a really slim chance. He's getting fatter. Now looking for the bullseye. Oh, Game what shot. a shot that is. A super-sized shot from Ryan Mikkel to steal the leg away from the clutches of Ross Smith. That is absolutely wonderful. Needed the extra treble to get to the finish. 
And Ross has got the luxury of two visits. 53. He had a real love-hate relationship with the 1-2-1 one, one in the previous match against Luke Littler did Ross Smith, but it actually ended up being 68 that he won the match on. So nice memories of the shot. He'd like to get it again for an immediate break. After seeing Mikkel draw level. Game and shot. it's happened again, albeit a different route. One That's worked out pretty well. 31. Yeah, super stuff from Ross Smith. He's had three two treble turns in this leg. The leg he hopes is the last of the match. 140. The question is asked, but the more experienced player in quarterfinals, Ross Smith, Game wins. And the match. It's been a good day for Ryan Mikkel, a step in the right direction. For more there, Woody. looks up knowing that he's maybe got a chance here to bag himself an early break if he can hit big 123 oh, 43 doesn't like what's happening in the last couple of visits and rock will be sensing every little bit of that reaction it's a double-double finish, and Josh Rock has punished Luke Woodhouse for a couple of scrappy visits there. Go close on several occasions since. 140. Bullseye to extend his lead to three. He was close. There have been four further final appearances for Josh Rock since that solitary victory. And now Luke Woodhouse is looking at the bullseye. Oh, Game what a finish that three. is. A 1-6-1. One, one. And he writes the wrongs from the previous leg, respected by Rock, who himself had missed the ball for the 1-2-1. One, one. Rock, who got the better of Thibaut Tricard in the quarterfinals as Luke Woodhouse is beating Ian White. He'll return for 106. 92. One of those awkward finishes where players are never really confident of where to go with the first start. Yes, sir. Fifty. And Josh Rock. We'll look at Trevor eighteen. And we'll now look at tops. And that is a fantastic response. And if he wins a tournament, he would move up a place in the world rankings as well. Would go ahead of Ryan Searle into 19th on the main order of merit. Josh Rock, who's now putting his foot down. 90. That tells its own story. Woodhouse had scored more 180s 23. for the day than Rock, but all of the maximums in this match have gone the way the Northern Irishman. Well, I don't know what was happening then. I just I did mention earlier on that Luke Woodhouse was cutting a frustrated figure. I think that Josh Rock might have just asked if he'd done something to upset him. He said, no, it's me. I've upset myself. Sixth leg. Well, that might upset him because that was a fine leg of darts. I don't know what's In a 6-2 win against the Premier League player. 98. Good leg of darts this, though, from Luke Woodhouse. 140. He may not be quite out of it yet. This for a break of throw. Double four. Game shot on the ninth leg. Woodhouse carries on, but can he keep calm? But would have to leave the finish just in case. 
Confirmation that Chris Doby is through. He's won 7-3 against Ross Smith and awaits the winner of this in the final. Josh Rock is ready to join him and will get his opportunity here. 140. Interesting choice there. But it matters not as Rock runs riots against Luke Woodhouse.